Hello, hello, hello. It's your brown boy Hamza. How y'all doing? Welcome to the good old days. Um, What is this now? Episode four, bro? We're already like, what, almost two months in? It's crazy, dude. Time be flying. I don't even be fucking noticing it sometimes. I'm just like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> it's been two months. <laughs> but how y'all doing, dude? How y'all, how, y- how y'all doing? I really wish I could do like a live stream kind of podcast where you guys could like comment at the same time i'm doing this shit because then i can talk to y'all and see what y'all saying um i'm really fucking hyped because it's my birthday month like today is july 1st when i'm filming this i turned 24 on the 16th uh yes i am a cancer um i'm i love i'm a i'm a, I'm a love bombing crackhead that's 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 a way to put it you know it's crazy because i think like I started having the thoughts yesterday of kind of just how much I've done in my life since I, you know, like now about to be 24. I'm kind of just like thinking about everything. I'm like, damn, what have I done in the past year? You know, as while I've been 23, like, and I've done a lot. I'm not going to lie. I had a whole ass girlfriend like at the, at 23. And that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's already something. Cause I haven't had a girlfriend in like four years, but <laughs> I've done a lot of my fashion, I've done a lot of my creative shit, so I I can say like 23 has been a it's been a really good year for me. One thing I can say though is that recently I I've, I've been feeling more creatively like energized. I've always been doing creative shit, but when it comes to making like my content and my reels or my videos on YouTube and Instagram and shit, I haven't really been into my videos and i think that's already like a sign that you need to take a step back because for a couple months i just like whatever i was posting like they were still cool videos and they were still cool outfits or whatever the fuck i was making but i always knew in the back of my head like damn bro i could do more and i think it's just i i'm not a perfectionist but i do have high standards for myself and i just i know the level of work that i can put out you know Either way, it's been really cool because I just, I feel like I'm starting to feel like my old self again when it comes to just being creative, but like, you know, with the splash of a new version of me, you know what I mean? So like, it's, 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 it's dope as fuck, bro. I've been, think happier than I usually have been lately on that spectrum, so one thing I would tell everyone is the yeah. One thing I would tell everyone really is quality over quantity. You know, you can post, you can create as many things and put them out as you can. But it's like if you're half-assing every single thing, like you know, yeah, other people might still like it. But the real question is if you like it, like. You know, are you able to put that work out or whatever or just create what you want to create and like say like yeah i gave it my all in that and if you if you can't then maybe take a step back and just think hey, yo maybe i need to put more time into this and just release less but it's better quality you know i really i really i, I think that that's where that's where i'm getting to now other than that, I'm not I'm gonna lie, my life has been on the dramatic side lately. Like I'm not gonna say names, of course, but I've just been having friends that just like haven't really been fucking with each other and have been getting into drama over like other friends or over some random bullshit. Like I have two friends that, you know, they 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 became cool with each other and they were like kind of friends for a month, but yeah, now neither of them fuck with each other and they just like think they're both like, nah, this fool's weird, this bitch is weird. Like it's just like, okay, bro. I and I I'm still friends with both of them, but I'm just here as like a bystander who's hearing like one person's side and I'm hearing the other person's side, and I'm just like, Doc, what is all this? You know what I mean? I'm just getting all the tea, to be honest. And it's cool. I'm fucking cool with it. But at the same time, you know, when it's between homies, you're also just like, can y'all just shut the fuck up and just get along and just squash whatever the fuck this BS is? That's how I think. I really wish I really be thinking like, bro, can you just squash this beef? Like, is it really that like, is it is it that deep? Like, is it re- is it really that deep? And you know, I heard from another friend. I know, you know, I was talking to another friend and 
you know, they were, they understood what I was saying, but they're also telling me, you know, sometimes it's not even about like how deep it is. It's just about the energies, like trying to mix with each other. And truthfully, it's like, you can't force someone to get along with another person. You know, sometimes like someone's energy doesn't, doesn't work with another person's. It doesn't match with another person, whether it goes relationship or friendship, whatever, like, and if those two energies just don't go together that well, then it's just like, you know, that's and that that's fine. You know, they're just not meant to like be friends, or they're just not meant to be close like that. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know if it's I'm just like a very, I think a a very like open I'm a very just like a open, transparent type of person. So I could say like I get along with most people. Um there are certain people I don't fuck with, and I can say those are like the ratchet hood motherfuckers. Like, I will be honest, ratchet bitches, I don't, I don't like them. Just like bitches who just will like snap their finger and be like, "What's up, bitch? Like, you trying to fight?" Like, and then start like, I don't know, like that shit. Like, those bitches annoy the shit out of me. And then the guys that just like be hood as fuck and like think that listen on like NBA Young Boy and think that they have to act hard like all the fucking time those guys annoy me too because i'm just like bro just shut the fuck up and eat a fucking pineapple and just have a good time bro smile a little bit fucking smile like you know they always just like closed off i'm just like bro like you know what i mean and it's okay to, it's okay to be closed off but like just be chill you know like why you gotta be tough all the time that's th those types of people I can't really fuck with. It's very hard for me to like have con conversations sometimes and just really get close with them. You know, thinking about all these like thinking about, you know, having this whole drama shit happen with my friends now that I have recent like these past couple weeks, it's been, you know, bringing back memories of like my old friend group that I had literally just a year ago, a year and a half ago and how that friend group broke up like i'm only friends with one of them now and he's just he's like my bestest friend and he also pretty much left the whole group just because like there are certain people in the group that were toxic that friend group it's like i was friends with like every single person in that friend group for almost like over five six seven eight years like we were like all childhood friends but it's you know even though like, even if you're still childhood friends with someone doesn't mean like y'all are gonna be friends forever like you guys could still end up spread it you know going separate ways once you hit like a certain age so and that's just what i did with like three of them especially with one of them um and, you know i'm gonna I'm give a little story time but i'm gonna just say his name is a uh, his name is nas okay i'm gonna say his name is nas um uh, so nas uh this fool fucking like him and i always got along this fool honestly out of like the entire friend group i was closest with i was closest with him he was like my boy you know like him and i our energies matched completely uh whenever this fool wanted to get turned and drunk whatever like i was down and then him vice versa like we were always just on the same level all the time and always both wanted to do fuck shit together and um you know it was really fucking cool um of course we did have like differences in just how we saw shit and that's just normal but once I moved to LA in like 2021, okay, um, my style, you know, started to change. I, how I expressed myself started to change a lot. And my fashion sense, everything, just like I started getting tattoos, all this shit, you know? But I was, so like before I moved, you know, before I moved to LA, everything was cool. But then once I like moved to LA and I started wearing skirts and started wearing like getting nails done and eyeliner and all these things, like that's when like I started noticing things changing. And I will say it, he just like had, did have this like toxic masculinity in him a little bit where he just like, you know, he wasn't into any of the things I did, but, and he didn't do those things, but like, you know, he wasn't into any of the, yeah, he wasn't into any of the things I did. But he didn't need, it wasn't just like, oh, he wasn't into it and he didn't let, and he just let, but he let me do it. It's like, he wasn't into it, but then he also made me feel like crap when I did it. So it kind of just like, it kind of started separating us because 
I just I just felt like I couldn't be myself around him anymore. And in 2021, because of that, we actually took like a six month break from each other. And we came back literally because we had bought tickets to Rolling Loud right before we separated. So like the next time we saw each other was to go to Rolling Loud together. And that was like the most fucking turn shit ever. I saw Cardi and fucking Trippy Red and all of them like shit was fucking late. That was the first time hearing fucking uh, that was the first time hearing whole lot of red live. I was it was fucking wild. Um and it was cool. Like, we became friends again. Like, everything was dope as fuck up until, like, mid-2023. And, you know, I'm on TikTok. I do Instagram. I'd make videos. And a lot of times, it's like, he would give me shit saying how the reason why I dress the way I do is not because I'm actually into it, just but because I do it for clout. And because I dress this way and do things only because for views. And it's like... I would try to vi- I would try to make videos with him, but not even videos like content, but just like videos like Snapchat, like memories, like I'm doing doing my friends, like you know, because I just want to have memories like with my homies. But he always made me like kind of seem like I couldn't do that shit because he like because everything I did was for quote unquote views, you know. But it's like so I kind of stopped making videos with him, doing pictures like with him and all that. But then he started giving me shit also that I would do shit with other homies and post them on my story. And he's like, you never post us. And those fools aren't even as close to you as we are, as I am. And I'm like, bro, you're being like insecure. But like, I get it. But it's like you're being insecure. And it's like, you can't give me this shit when you literally never make me feel like I can take videos with you or some shit. And it's like, and like, yeah. And then there, there was this day. This was like the biggest ultimatum. But it was, this was like the biggest day. This was like kind of like what flipped a switch in my head. But we're at the park. We're drunk as fuck. We're drunk. We're high. And I'm with another, we're with us two and another homie. uh, The one that I'm still friends with. He like left the park to go make food at his house. And we, so we, so it's just me and Nas at the park. We're talking. He's telling me how like, yeah, he thinks again that all I do is like for views and shit and like, you know, that, oh, I only started dressing in skirts and stuff because I saw a video because one of my videos blew up to a certain amount and after that, but I was like, that's not true. But also, if you think about it from a business perspective, if you see something that you did in a certain video got you views, you might do that a little more often because you're going to, you're trying to keep that momentum going. But like, that's not the only thing you're doing, of course, you know, and it wasn't, but yeah so he gave me this ultimatum where like you know i had a roommate at the time it was this girl and you know she was one of my best friends at the time and he made me like kind of choose if he's like you know if you had to choose would it be us like the friend group or her and i was like fucking crossed bro so like in my head like i didn't know what the fuck to say like i fucked with my head so much and i ended up like saying them just to like for his feelings but then like i felt so bad that i apologized to her later and told her all of it and she's like she was so like tripping out from the story because she's just like bro a real friend wouldn't give you like an ultimatum and also make you choose between like another friend you know like you don't do that so that kind of like flip shit so i don't know after like like a month or two a couple months after that shit i kind of like we got into like one last argument and just went our own ways and you know i still wish him the best i wish him love you know like the fr- the one that i'm still friends with he's still friends with that guy but he doesn't like he's still friends with nas but he doesn't hang out with nas that much but like he still he still like they still they still catch up with each other all the time so it's like he knows what he's doing so i'll get like an update on nas's live like here and then and it's like you know he's doing good bro and it's like i wish him the best but it's like our energy is just weren't really like colliding our energy just weren't really like in sync no more and that's perfectly fine so it shows how we went our separate ways i really think that you know there are some people that are meant to be in your life forever and there are some people that are meant to be in your life only for a certain amount of time but every single person has a lesson that they can teach you you know i don't think that people are just meant to i don't think that people are just brought into your life you know for no reason just because you know there's there's always there's always a reason behind it you know that's the truth i think that 
some people are really meant to only be in your life for a certain amount of time and see like a see this single version of you you know because throughout life many 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 versions of us are created and these people whether it's like only for a year whether it's only for a couple months are only gonna see this little bracket of you for that period of time and that's it and it can be it can be sad it can be sad and it can be sad because you're like you know i want this person i wish this person was in my life longer or i wish what happened didn't happen between us or whatever the fuck but the universe god whatever like your divine upper being is like there's a reason why that person was in your life only for this period. And you just gotta, you gotta see that. It's not easy to fucking see. There's a lot of friendships I've lost that I'm like, why did we stop being friends? Or like, what the fuck was the reason behind this shit? And yeah, I mean, dude, it took me a good second. A real, it, it took me a fat second to like, realize the reason why my ex and i broke up and like what was the lesson behind that or the reason you know and the teachings like what it, what did that shit teach me and that's a, that's another way to think it like it might not be there's a like there's a reason why this person was in your life but like there's something to learn from it there's a teaching behind it i mean this person taught you to be more open-minded this person taught you to be more empathetic this person taught you to just stop being a bitch like you know what i mean like you know, like, I'm just going down a hill of memories now, because, you know how, and every person has done this. Every fucking kid, when they're in middle school, high school, whatever, they look at their homies, they're like, we're going to be friends fucking forever, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you my day one till the end. Bro, you know how many people I've said that shit to, and we don't speak no more? Do you, what the fuck? You know how many times I've said that shit to my brothers, or, like, my brothers, you know how many times my brothers have looked at me? They're like, bro, you know how many friends we've lost? Throughout the years, are like, bro, you're gonna you're gonna lose your so homies. You don't understand this shit yet, and it's like I never wanted to accept it. And then like high school ended, and boom, every person I was like friends with, like I don't speak to, like I don't speak to any homies from high school now, except one girl that like we just started like rekindling our friendship now, like two months ago after years of you know not seeing each other since high school. It's great. Like even my even my day one, my real day one homie that I was friends with since I was like seven years old. Um, his name was Abid. You know, we were homies from like seven until like nineteen years old, bro. For like twelve years. Uh, this fool, honestly, I think like this fool. Yeah, this fool was my homie till the end. He was the only homie that I had. Where like like when people saw me. Like, him and him and I were literally, like, half and half. When, like, people saw me, they're like, hey, yo, where's, where's Abed? You know, like, when people saw him, they were like, yo, where's Hamza? Like, and it's like, whenever he was acting up or doing some stupid shit, people would come to me being like, yo, you got to go talk to him because, like, you're the only person that can actually smack sense into him. And it was, like, vice versa. And that's, like, how close our friendship was. But, sadly, what did break our friendship in the past was... Um was uh sadly what kind of did start breaking our friendship was my first ex i just gave so much time to her and never really hung out with him that much or and just like and then when i started kind of going through my breakup with her like i started separating so in a way i would kind of say it is my fault but like there's really i would kind of say it is my fault but at the same time like it is what it is and shit happened but it's crazy we still have each other's location on iphone but and like we but and we'll still say happy birthday to each other now and then but i'm just not i'm just not i'm just not the type of homie i'm just not the type of person to like wish hate on someone or wish bad on someone i'm just not the type of person to wish bad on someone so it's like no matter how bad you do me wrong and like fuck me over i'm still gonna wish you love you know whether you're someone, a random person, or whether you're, like, you're my homie. Especially if you're my homie, it's like, yo, I wish you love. You know, you you were my friend for a reason, for a certain amount of time. Like, I wish you the best. So, 
Dash Mito, but again, I don't know if it connects, but I'm a yeah, cancer, so like, again, love bombing crackhead. I just love, 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 love. Sometimes I love a little too much, and it be, it be fucking me up, you know, but it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. My favorite line of 2024 on God has gotten me through half this fucking year, so I won't keep saying that shit. Yeah, I might get that shit tatted on me at this fucking point. Nah, but I really want to get Hakuna Matata tatted on me, like, right on the edge of my arm. Because, no worries, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, straight up. Lion King is the best fucking uh, Disney movie, in my opinion. And out of all live-action Disney movies, Lion King was, like, the one that was the most on point And, like, one of the best ones. The Mufasa one is coming out in December, bro. And I'm so fucking hyped for that shit. But... She's gonna be hard as fuck, bro. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Disney, real quick, my Disney princess is Tangled. You know, people actually, yeah, you know, people get surprised when I say Tangled is my like, or Rapunzel is my fucking princess because it's like out of all princesses. But she's like stupid and wild and like goofy as fuck, and I think that's what I love about her. I just love her her personality and shit because it's like it is similar to mine. Anyways. Um, I've been talking, you know, this podcast was about, this episode was about, some, this episode was about friendships and getting along with people, I guess you could say, but you know, sometimes I come into these podcast episodes with either like kind of like a script or an out, not like a script, but like an outline of what I do want to talk about. But then sometimes I come into these podcast episodes with just shit on my mind and I'm just like, bro, like. I want to get this out. I want to fucking talk about this. This shit's fucking annoying. And that's kind of how I was with this one. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I wanted to talk about my friends. I want to talk about the drama that I've been going through. And it just, it led into other things. That's how, that's how it be. That's how like it is talking to even homies. And that's what I'm doing right here. Again, this podcast is just me talking to my homies. It's my fucking video. It's my video diary, bro. It's my fucking... It's literally, it's literally a podcast diary. So y'all are, y'all are getting what's, y'all are, y'all are, y'all are getting a glimpse of what the fuck my thoughts are and what goes on in my head and what be in my diary, I guess you could say. So I love you guys. This is your brown boy Hamza. Um, this is episode four. Episode five will probably come out after my birthday. So yeah. Next time y'all see, next time I, I see y'all, I'll be 24 years old. Damn, I'm Kobe's fucking age now. It's crazy. Rest in peace, bro. But this was the good old days. See you guys in the next one. Lights. Love you.